CapCut is a very famous video editing application. So in order to download CapCut uh, in your, uh, in, in your uh, Windows desktop, what you need to do is first of all, you need to go around and access up the Microsoft Store right here. So once you go around onto the Microsoft Store, what you need to do is you need to go around and search for CapCut. So you can see that my Microsoft Store has been opened up right here. So what I'm going to go around and do is type in CapCut right here, just like this, and press Enter. So once you do that, what happens is that the CapCut video editor, you can see, is an option over here. So you can just go around and click right here. And now I'm going to go around and click on Install right here, and it starts downloading. So it's as simple as that. CapCut is a very famous video editor and uh, you can download a mobile app version of it and you can access out web version of the application as well. If you want to learn the web version of the application, you can check out my playlist where I have a course on uh, that is a tutorial series on uh, CapCut uh, web editor. Uh, but compared to the web editor, the desktop version has much more features and has a different layout. And in this tutorial series, we're going to focus on the uh, uh, desktop version of CapCut application and the various features that it provides. So you can see that I uh, click on um, uh, I install right here and then you can see that uh, it is installing right here. So depending on your internet connection speed and the speed of your computer, this does take a bit of time. And uh, once it's downloaded, you, you will be able to see that it's a very powerful application and has much more features to offer compared to the web version of the application. So at the time of the recording, um, uh, CapCut, uh, does not have um, um, a picture editor in the desktop version, but the video editor has a, a, a detailed level of video editing functions that we're going to explore throughout this tutorial series. And this is it. This is how you can install out CapCut. And once it is installed, uh, what you can do is you can go around and search for CapCut on your uh, start menu. And then what happens is that you can simply go around and access the application and it opens up the uh, uh, application as you can see right here. So it's it's doing the environment uh, testing as you can see right here. So I can go ahead and close the Microsoft Store over here. Uh, you can also see that there's um, uh, an app icon right here. So it says your computer can run CapCut uh, smoothly right here. So it analyzes my computer specs and uh, the settings and it says I can run CapCut smoothly. So uh, now I'm going to go around and click on confirm. And now you can see that I get the new project area right here. So I can go around and sign in right over here as well. So you can see it says sign in to get 10 GB stories right here. So before you start CapCut, it's a good idea to join the pro right here. So all you need to do is sign in. So once you go around and click around right here, you can see it says sign in and you can either sign around with TikTok or Facebook or Google. So I'm just going to go around and click on Google right here. And once I do that, I have this page opened up right here, as you can see. So I need to go around and sign in with my Google right here. And that's it. So I can simply click on open CapCut and that's it. I have been signed in. Um, as you can see right here, just like this. So once I do that, I got uh, extra stories as well and access to some features as well. So that is what you have as you can see. And if I were to go around and click on new project, then it simply opens up um, this particular page as you can see right here. And I get access to CapCut desktop interface, which you will find different compared to the CapCut's Cap Cap web interface. Um, uh, if you were to look closely, that it is much more detailed. And in this tutorial series, we are going to explore out all of the major things that you have over here in the um, um, uh, in the application that you can utilize for video editing effectively. So I hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.